Why, hello there. Welcome to another edition of Whoa! I want to read that. Thanks for coming back. Things have been really good for me lately. I had a really good sandwich today, and I mean, yesterday I was able to fly a car for the first time. Fly down here, car. let's go. Hey, psst. Hey, down there. Hey, hey, over here. Yeah, me. You see me. Whoa, Scully. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Stupid. What, you think I had to sit here in this glass globe? Well, I mean, I'm, I've had you for years. You never said anything before. I don't... I don't know why you'd start now. Every week I hear you go on and on about all these books for the kids to read, and you know what? I want to read some books, too. Wait, so you can talk and read? Of course I can read. It's been hundreds and hundreds of years since I've had the chance to read something enjoyable that I want to read. How dare you take that away from me? Somebody painted me pink and stuck me inside of this snow globe and just said, Oh, oh this girl will be fun. It hasn't been fun for me. I miss my books. Scully, I had no idea that you had a whole life outside of your globe. Did you ever bother to ask? No, I guess I... Exactly. And stop calling me Scully. My name is Brenda. Brenda? Your name is... Your name is Brenda. Is there something wrong with... No, I don't. I mean, it's a... It's a lovely name for pink skull and a piece of glass. Man, I don't see why you have to bring it up. It just, it just seems like an odd name for a... T anyway, I was wondering when are you going to give me one of these sweet, sweet books to read? Or do I need to sit here and listen to your nonsense week after week? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could start looking. I never had to recommend a book to a snow globe before. It's been hundreds and hundreds of years. I started out as a lonely child, see? Daughter to only one parent. Alone most nights. Free. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, um, care. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll look for a book. I'm, I'm, I'll figure, I'll try to figure it out. What about that Flor and Ulysses book? That sounded pretty good. Sure. It's a great idea. I have it right here. There you go. How's that? Work okay, Scully? I mean, Brenda? It's perfect. It's just what I've always dreamt of. A book to call my very own. That was weird. Anyway, this week for Whoa, I want to read that. I wanted to share one of the books that I love to give kids when they're stuck in what I like to call a book funk. <gasps> not like funky, not like. <laughs> Come on! Was that funky? I, I was going for funky. No, not like that kind of funky. I mean, like. And you're kind of like, I don't know what to read. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I don't want to read anything. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I have a perfect book for you. The name of this book is Secret. Seriously, though, the name of this book is Secret by Synonymous Bosch. So the plot of this book centers around this young girl. Her name is Cass. And she's always ready just in case of an emergency. She keeps a backpack with her just in case that something goes down. And she meets this boy named Max Ernest who's a little too quick to try to tell a joke. And his jokes don't really work. And he talks too much, and he has a hard time making friends as a result. But the two of them, whether they wanted to or not, instantly become besties forever. Meanwhile, Cass's two grandfathers, Wayne and Larry, are antique dealers and collectors, and they happen upon a box from a magician who's passed away mysteriously. And in this box is a bunch of junk until they get to the <gasps> Symphony of Smells. Now, ultimately, I don't want to give too much away. Too late. Shush. The Symphony of Smells leads Cass and Max Ernest on this crazy adventure where there's a secret society that may or may not be kidnapping children for their own selfish, villainous ways. <laughs> the author speaks to the reader in a way that's hilarious, but respects your intelligence, and it really gives you a great idea of point of view in telling a story. For example, this is how the book starts. Warning, do not read beyond this page. Good, now I know I can trust you. You're curious, you're brave, and you're not afraid to lead a life of crime. But let's get something straight. If, despite my warning, you insist on reading this book, you cannot hold me responsible for the consequences. And make no bones about it, this is a very dangerous book. No, it won't blow up in your face, or bite your head off, or tear you limb from limb. It probably won't injure you at all unless somebody throws it at you, which is a possibility that should never be discounted. Generally speaking, books don't cause much harm, except when you read them, that is. Then they cause all kinds of problems. 
Books can, for example, give you ideas. I don't know if you've ever had an idea before, but if you have, you know how much trouble an idea can get you into. Books can also provoke emotions, and emotions sometimes are even more troublesome than, than ideas. Emotions have led people to do all sorts of things they later regret, like, oh, throwing a book at someone else. But the main reason this book is so dangerous is that it concerns a secret. A big secret. It's funny the way secrets work. If you don't know about a secret, it doesn't bother you. You go about your business without a care in the world, la 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 la, you sing. Everything's fine and dandy. Maybe you don't actually sing la la la, but you know what I mean. But as soon as you hear about the secret, it starts to nag at you. What is this secret, you wonder? Why am I not supposed to know about it? Why is it so important? Suddenly, you're dying to know what the secret is. You beg, you plead, you threaten, you cajole. You promise never to tell anyone else. You try anything and everything. You dig into the secret keeper's belongings. You pull his or her hair. And when that doesn't work, you pull your own. I don't really have any hair to pull, so... Good luck trying to pull my hair. <laughs> not knowing a secret is just about the worst thing in the world. No, I can think of one thing worse. Knowing a secret. Read on if you must. But remember, I warned you. Again, one of the awesome things about this book is that it's part of a series, so... The first one is, the name of this book is Secret, which was then followed by, if you're reading this, it's too late. And then, of course, this book is not good for you, and this isn't what it looks like. And, of course, book number five, which came out recently, you have to stop this. So, from Scully and I, both of us want to let you know that if you're in a book funk, definitely, definitely, definitely check out dizzy. the name of this book is Secret by Sonata. Stop it, Lasko. No, Will stop. not I don't, be I don't like disappointed. This. Are you okay? No, stop it. Oh, sorry. I'm not sorry. I realize I'm talking to an inanimate object by myself in a room at 6 o'clock at night. I need friends.